Hi, and welcome to the Langley Event Center. I am Paul Carenza alongside Coach Paul Eberhardt bringing you international basketball here in British Columbia on SportsCanada.tv, the 2012 Jack Donahue International Classic. And this has sort of become a regular event here in BC, Canada's national team gearing up for international play. World Championships this year happens to be a little more special. They're gearing up for Olympics. Yeah, and it's nice to get up out here in the West Coast. You don't see them that often. As you said, we did get them out here uh, a couple summers ago. Uh, however, tonight and this Jack Donahue series that we're going to see, a little bit more exciting because they brought in the top ranked team here in the number seven ranked China. Hey, so uh, great opportunity for us to play in front of home fans. I mean, we have people that are flying out to see us play. We have parents coming. We have friends coming. We have family coming. And you know what? It's a rare opportunity that we get to showcase our talent in Canada. And I, I say this all the time, and you guys know this. You're the best kept secret in this country. You're amazing women, on top, first and foremost, but amazing basketball players. And we have worked so hard for this. So you know what? It's time to perform. This is fun. This is what it should be. I mean, I'm just so happy that the China coach wanted to come here. And you know how hard it is to get quality teams to come. Like, what a rare opportunity for us. So. Let's just embrace it and go get it. Let's have some fun tonight, yeah? Let's go. I don't think you get to this level if you don't have good character because you just can't hang on. You can't, you know, the, the other players don't like playing with you. They don't, you know, you don't compete hard enough. You don't train hard enough. So the core group is, is, is really great, but also all the young ones have fit in so well. And they're a product also of our junior programming. The chemistry is amazing. They, they truly care for each other. And I mean, I had one of the athletes who said to me, I really want to get this done for Teresa. Like uh, this is her last kick of the can. So I I've never had a group that has wanted to do it as much for each other with the national team program ever. My name is Teresa Gabriel. I'm a point guard and this is my 15th year on the team. Every minute you put your shoes on and put that Canada jersey on, you're representing your country and you're, you're striving to be better and you're striving for perfection, you're striving for excellence. Teresa Gabriel with her last crack, the only player on this Canadian roster who has got Olympic experience trying to get back there one more time and perhaps the most interesting part is that she's currently the only basketball she plays is for Team Canada. Doesn't have a pro team, doesn't play anywhere else, she just trains and a lot to be said for that. She continues to be in phenomenal shape and be the lifeblood and uh, the starting point guard and captain of this team. My name is Alicia Tatum. I'm, I'm a two guard on the senior women's national team. Our goal is ultimately the Olympics, you know, but the first thing that we have to tackle is in Turkey at the Olympic qualifiers. So that is our main focus right now. And as a group, you know, we might not be as talented as the U.S. or as, as athletic as the Brazilians, but you know, we come together and we have this unbelievable unity together as a group. My name is Kim Smith, I'm a guard, and this is my 10th summer on the team. To me, a champion is defined in the off season, when nobody else is watching you, when you're waking up at 6 a.m. to go to a shooting workout, when your body hurts and you're tired and all your other friends are doing fun stuff because you know that there's other people that are doing the same thing and when you meet, you want to be better than them. Ask Jug, are we going to the Olympics doing that? I don't understand how you don't have it every second if you really, really believe we can get there. Like, every second. Was anyone like throwing up tired after the game? Like, there's no way. And we give up. And then this is like, we're in scores a great hoop and no one helps her back. So great team defense. Really good. This is when we're best. When we're really our best. Well, talking to the uh, head coach, Allison McNeil, about their chances, uh, obviously you always want to feel good about your team heading into uh, Olympic qualifying, but she thinks that of all the teams that she's had in a while, this team has really come together from a chemistry standpoint and feels like if any team is primed to make a run, this one is. The players on the international stage in women's basketball, average age is about 28 years of, years of age. And we have been the youngest team at the 2006 Worlds, and we were, I think, the second or third youngest at the 2010 Worlds. So finally, you know, we're a little bit older, a little more experienced, and I kind of joke, but you, you, know, you can't take girls to, to beat women at a World Championships or Olympics. You can't do it. 
My name is Miranda Ayim. I'm a forward for the Canadian national team. I've been with this team for about two years now. Definitely the end goal is to make it to the Olympics. That's what this year is all about and that's really what we've been focusing on. But I also always, in everything that I'm doing, I always want to get better. So regardless of the result that we have this summer, I want to make sure that I'm improving myself and improving my teammates. My name is Chelsea Obrey. This is my ninth season with the senior national team. My strengths probably as an individual would be my strength, physical strength. Um, I screen very well, I play defense, and for a post player I can shoot the three very well. I think as a whole we are a blue collar team, you know, we don't have that superstar or one or two go-to players. We have a group of very, very good players and when we work together we are a great team. 78-66 is going to be your final. Some people don't get what we do. They don't understand why we sacrifice the things we sacrifice and I think when they actually can see it and they can see us playing against China and they can see us at our best, I think you know, it all kind of comes together and makes sense. We missed out on Athens and we missed out on Beijing and I can't even explain the heartbreak that goes through you and so this whole off season I was completely reinvigorated in my training and I was so pumped up and excited and every day I was dreaming about London and what I'm going to do to help my team get there. Going to the Olympics, I can't even describe it in words. That's something that we're, we all have in common here and we're fighting for that spot and for that dream. Every one of them has a story and every one of them is uh, amazing to have gotten to this level and I, I believe because of who they are, more than what they do, that's why I believe we'll get to the Olympics.